Uh, and speaking of, you know, Bobby Lashley, I can't believe we've, we've gone this far in the podcast and not talked about this. Um, Big E as the new yeah. WWE champion. <laughs> yeah. How we made that. it well, almost that, uh, we made it almost 40 minutes into this podcast and we've not even broached that subject. That's why I said, yet. Brian, we got a lot to talk about, man. Right. I, I, I mean, okay. So, you know, obviously doing the Rob review, you know, I got to talk about that on Monday and I just, I'm not sure if they're hot shotting things right now or what, you know, that I heard they're, I, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm, I, I was pretty sure they were going to do Randy Orton and, and Lashley at the pay-per-view. All of a sudden that got changed mm-hmm. literally out of nowhere. They did, they did 45 minutes on each side of Raw the week before trying to figure out who was going to be the number one contenders for the tag yeah. team championships. And then they just said, fuck it. Like, like, <laughs> like literally on right, Monday or right. something they, like that. They had to restart the gauntlet match or something. Yes. Like, and then, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you know, so I don't know what the hell's going on. So that's, yeah. that makes me wonder. Then they did announce the draft is coming at the end of, of October, I believe. Mm, yeah. Well, I will tell you, it did feel like a hot shot. It absolutely was because I think it's like, WWE being reaction being reactionary to you know the demos changing and how Dynamite is outperforming Raw in some cases including like the key demos and so I think and then Big E telegraphing on Twitter I am going to cash in this briefcase tonight and I plan on winning the championship and it was to get people to watch and people are kind of like knocking it oh it's just a pop a rating like yeah everything in TV is to pop a rating like your goal when you're producing television is to get as many people to watch as possible so I don't understand why people are hating on them for doing that. You Boy, know? They did it on Friday night too with Lesnar and, and mm-hmm. uh, Reigns. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. And then the demon. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. well, I mean, well, they didn't give away the demon was going to be there. Well, did they, they didn't, no. But still, I'm just saying, like, like yeah, they're, they're pulling they're, everything they're, out of their right. ass right now. And the thing is, that's just, I think, a product of the time now. I think that while AEW is, you know, I think both companies are both doing really big things right now. I, I want to, you know, take nothing away from, you know, AEW here specifically, but I think that, like, everyone in wrestling is trying to do the best they can now. We as fans are seeing a great time in wrestling now where we're finally kind of getting the things we want. Right, you know? right. We're getting these big debuts. We're getting these big moments. Big E win of the championship, I think, is incredible. And, like, awesome. it seems like it's one of the most universally regarded, like, positive things about WWE right now is that Big E won the belt. And I think that's great. I think it's awesome that like, I hope people are more inclined to tune in I know it's like there's still a lot of problems with the rest of their booking and like if you took away Big E win of the championship on Monday the rest of Raw was kind of blah right. but I think that Big E winning will hopefully get some people more interested um, I think the historical significance of Big E win of the championship can't be uh, you know uh, overlooked I'm a real big fan of Big E and I'm a real big fan of how like of what he's gone through in his career and how what he's done to get here and how just organically popular he is. He's not somebody who I feel was kind of forced at anyone's throats, especially in the last several years. He's just been kind of naturally himself and it's gotten over. Like, there's people out there who are kind of knocking him. Oh, he's too much of a clown. He's too much of a silly character to like win the chip. No, he's not. Like, no. he, he's one of those guys who can be goofy and be funny and stuff, but then be all business in the ring. And that's what makes him such a great like talent overall because he's got that great mix of different things. And like, they even addressed that when they first broke up the New Day. And like, Miz was on Talking Smack running down Big E saying, You're too goofy. You're too silly. And Big E like shut him down then. And I can't believe we're having this debate now <laughs> about a year later after the new day split up and like we're still right. having this conversation when well, that should not be the case big e is legit no he is legit i think what it is okay so let's be real you watched it right you mm-hmm. watched the raw yeah all right so um when he's there in the corner like making weird grunting noises and like mm. acting like a like a troll or something i'm not sure exactly what the hell he's doing like they're just big e noises yeah or something i think that's if there's something that brings non-legitimacy it's not that he loves pancakes and rainbows and unicorns and shit like that it's not that (laughs) it's it's the fact that you know he just i don't sometimes they give him goofy stuff and it's just like kofi right now right like like um where is he at on the card he's there he's there yeah he's there but like he i'm kind of worried about what they're gonna do with him going forward because of this feeling like a hot shot 
Are they going to keep that belt on him very long? I, I don't know. I mean, they I, could not, give it right back to Lashley even at the pay-per-view. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of is that, you know, this good moment that we're seeing here ultimately kind of is for nothing. Like the rain might not be. It's like it's natural to kind of dread that about like every single big thing. Oh, this person debuted. Oh, but their booking might suck. Oh, this person won the belt. Oh, but their rain might suck. Right. It's like it's easy to feel cynical, especially with WWE where dreams and hopes usually go to die. But I think that, you know, it's just one of those we can't really talk about it until it happens. Um, I think but, uh, as far as the short term goes, I'm really glad to see Big E with the championship. Now, two out of three New Day members have held the gold. Xavier Woods is on his way, or maybe he'll just be the Heath Slater <laughs> of the group. I don't know. Uh, but I think that there's a lot of great possibilities with that. I think Kofi is still a big player. I'd love to see maybe some kind of friendly rivalry with Big E and Kofi over the championship. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Be, I mean, we've never seen them wrestle before, have we? Like Against each other? You know, good question. I'm I, not sure if that's ever happened. Happened. Maybe back in the day before they were in the New Day, when Big E, when he, when he was still Big E Langston, and, right. Co- and Kofi was still Jamaican, but uh, a lot I, of mercy. I, I don't, uh, I don't know if uh, they've wrestled each other. I'd be, I'd be down for that. Or whoever Big E fights, I, I think I mean, maybe maybe something they could do mm. is they could, you know, if Lashley is to win it back. You know, maybe they they have him win it back at the pay per view, and then have that chase all the way to like Mania or something like that for Big E, and then have that moment where he gets, gets it, it and yeah. holds on to it for a long time. You know, I'd love to see a triple threat with Lashley and Kingston and Big E over the championship, like that right there. I mean, all oh, wow. of them are phenomenal athletes. They're great in the ring, and there's so many different stories you could tell with that matchup. Um, I, know, I know we're just kind of like just going crazy here with fantasy booking all of a sudden. That's not what this this podcast. Well, no, but you know what it is. It's because of the time in WWE. When things get exciting in WWE, the last like I don't know five or six years. Let's be honest with you. Uh, 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 I mean, basically, it's AEW is the reason for all this hot shotting right now. Oh yeah. But in the past, if we had this many cool things going on in one moment, you would be like, oh. Ding, ding, ding. They got a Saudi Arabia show coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm being serious. You yeah. know, because that's where they would pull out all the, the DX reunion, dude. I mean, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, this it's seems true. like shit that they would pull out of their ass right now if they hadn't have already done that. Right. No, I and mean, that's true. It's nice to know that, like, there's other motives behind it besides you got to plug this blood money pay per view. Uh, and so having like these really big moments like Brock Lesnar returning, like Becky returning, uh, like, you know, uh, like Big E winning the championship. I just think they're 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 doing their best to pull out all the stops and make WWE a competitive product, whether that whether that's actually happening or not, you know, remains to be seen in the long term. But they are trying and I have to give them some credit for that. And you can call it hot shotting. It is. Uh, but I think that not all hot shotting is inherently bad. I think sometimes you can hot shot things to good results. I think that, yeah, Big E winning on pay-per-view might have been been better i guess but it's like raw is still an important show they want to have moments on as well and uh of course the pay-per-view structures the whole pay-per-view business structure is so different now that it's not necessarily you have to sell to a pay-per-view you don't have to get all the moments on a pay-per-view you can have them on tv want to hear more subscribe to this week in regret on youtube for full episodes of the podcast dropping every thursday night don't forget we're also on soundcloud